Hey guys, so as you can tell from the title, we are going to be doing a twist out. So, to begin, you're going to need a towel because you're going to be spraying yourself with some water. I just got out of the shower, so yeah, the things you're going to need are a spray bottle because some parts of your hair are going to dry in the process of doing a twist out. You're going to need conditioner. You're going to need a wide tooth comb, some clips, and some hair ties. And as you can tell, mine are literally, look at this. This is what happens when your hair is so thick and big, it literally ruins your hair ties. Oh, and the last thing you're going to need is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, as you guys have seen before my curly hair routine. But this is going to be very good for defining your curls because this is a curl enhancing smoothie, so it does, it really does enhance your curls, as you guys know, I've talked about this earlier, and I really like this, so this is going to be really good for defining your curls, okay? Okay. okay so another thing you're going to need is a cotton t-shirt. This is what you use in your hair. You don't use these towels on your hair because it creates frizz and it just damages your hair, so just use a cotton t-shirt that's soft. Um, it has marks on it right now because I just used it a little bit on the back because my hair was stripping wet. But yeah, this is just a very old Air Apostle shirt that I had like in the eighth grade. So this is now my curly hair shirt. All right, so I'm sorry if I keep looking over here because I have a mirror. So anyway, you're going to want to detangle your hair. And I pretty much already detangled it in the shower, but I'm just gonna run through it a few times just to make sure it's not tangled. And you're gonna want to part your hair, so let's do that. All right, so now my hair is parted. We're gonna want to add some leave-in conditioner, so I'm just gonna take a fair amount. You know, curly girls love their leave-in conditioner, but you don't wanna add too much because you saw the other product too. So I'm just gonna distribute that all throughout my hair. Don't forget the ends; the ends are important as well. The more doesn't hurt nobody. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a hair tie. This is where the um the clips come in. But I personally like to use a hair tie just because, I don't know, it's easier, I guess. I guess I might have to clip it too. Okay, you're going to want to take your curl enhancing smoothie or whatever you have to use to um, define your curls. And you're just going to take a little bit. I don't like to take too much because I don't really like too much product on my hair. Now that it's, you know, conditioned or whatever, you have all your product and you're going to take a portion a little piece of your hair. The smaller the piece, the more defined. The bigger the piece, the less defined. A normal amount would be this. Oh, and before you curl, you're gonna want to look at the way your curls twist. So either they're gonna twist inward or outward, if that makes sense. Yeah, so my curls twist inward, so that's the way I'm going to curl my hair. Take it first and twist it, which I like to do just very quickly and then I go over with my finger and I twist it like this and that's really gonna hold the curls together and it's gonna help define them. As you can see, that's how one twist looks. Alright, you see the difference? Now, to do a twist out, I recommend doing this whenever there's a special occasion because it is a little time consuming compared to just, you know, washing your hair, conditioning it, styling it, but I think the end result is very nice. So. Oh, and another thing I forgot to do is sometimes when you do this, depending on your hair type, it's going to stay down. And if you just leave it like that, it's not going to really, really define your curls. It's just going to stay straight like this. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to scrunch it up for a few seconds and let it go. And then it's going to bring it up so then your curls are going to be bouncy. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the difference between the twist out and my normal hair. So here's my normal hair, just 
the and then here's the twist out at the end it's going to be a bouncier compared to this side where it's just gonna be like a poofy frizz thing going on you know what I mean that's why I also like this frizz out because it's gonna prevent less frizz in your curls so yeah you know since all the moisture is contained in the curls you know it's taking longer to dry what we're gonna do now as you can tell how my hair looks um we're going to carefully split apart the big curls so I'm just gonna start from the top and just gently pull away we're gonna gently tear, take this apart and I'm just gonna keep doing that. So, yeah. <laughs> get bigger there's no such thing as it not this is pretty much the look I also like the shape it gives me normally when I do my hair it doesn't have this shape this is what I, I look very overexposed oh there we go my hair can look a lot bigger but it, since it's like not completely completely dry it's like mainly the bottom that's a little bit damp it makes your curls more defined and just more put together you know and it gives it that bounce I, I don't really do this often I'm not gonna lie but if I have time, I will. There's a curl right there. I like doing this method because it just really gives your hair that shape, the bounce, the volume, and everything. So, yeah. I hope you guys like it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And share with your friends. If you have a curly friend, share this video with her and that's pretty much all i have to say i hope you guys have an amazing day don't forget whatever you decide to do make sure it makes you happy and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye